GameStop employees of Reddit, what are some of your horror stories? Four come to mind. A woman comes in, to trade in an Olds box 360 in a box. I open the box and the smell hits me. Rat droppings, grime, cockroaches and all have spent time in this thing. Luckily my manager noticed, and we were able to decline the trade. Spent 5 minutes disinfecting the counter, before I helped the next customer. One time I was trading in a PS4 I think. We were chatting, while I was wiping his hard drive, and commenting on all his achievements. Sometime during this conversation he got nostalgic, and changed his mind, but not before I had already deleted all his data. Felt terrible. One homeless looking guy comes in during one of the few times I'm alone in the store. He was dragging around a trash bag, and I was doing my best to keep him in eyesight as he was all kinds of sketchy. He managed to stuff and box 360 in the bag and walk out, but I ran out, and asked him to give it back, which he did, saying please don't call the cops. I did, the last one kinda shook me. This woman comes in with a gaggle of kids, maybe four. They were all terrors, running around to different parts of the store, yelling, grabbing things and rearranging them, seemingly causing distractions, while this woman tried on three separate occasions, to get behind the counter. They end up buying something, but then I notice under this big box the oldest kid has picked up he'd stuffed his hands full of the little DS games that were on the gobbuck section on the counter. There was more here, but I've lost some of the details, but it really gave me the impression this was all coordinated by their mother. It's one thing to see adults steal, to see kids who are encouraged to do so, just terribly terribly sad. I was an assistant manager when one of the Madden games came out. 04, maybe? We were doing a big midnight opening for it and everybody was having a great time waiting for the game, which we were picking up from another store about 30 miles away. Around 11 o'clock, after people had been waiting for 2 hours after the mall closed, I got a phone call. The game wasn't coming. I almost broke down, sitting behind the register, dreading the thought of telling everybody that they just wasted their time. To make matters worse, another store within walking distance of us got their games. I just wanted to die that night. I'm so grateful that our customers took it well and didn't get too angry. You didn't get a shipment ahead of time. Of not that's lame, I think the only time we'd get them the day before, if they were stupid crazy collector's editions. This was back when midnight openings were just becoming a thing with us. We didn't have full logistical support for them, and most big name street dated games arrived the day if. Us getting Halo 2 a week beforehand was enough of an anomaly that I remember it to this day. Had a couple come in to return a Sesame Street video game and a controller. They had a receipt from over a year ago, the game was scratched to hell, and the controller was full of dried soda. They said it didn't work anymore shocker, and were furious when I wouldn't give them their money back. Like standing there screaming at me, I was the manager, so I had no one else there to back me up. It was crazy. Their kid was bawling, the lady was swearing like a syphilitic sailor and the husband couldn't finish her sentence. Pretty sure they were both super high too. So that was fun. When the PS2 came out I was assistant manager and my manager would sell them out of the back room at a markup. Such a snake. I took the demos box home with a copy of Halo before the system launched one night, and had a 4 player all night party. One of our other local stores had someone dig through the outside wall and steal everything out of their back room. Dig though the outside wall. Did they find out what he used? What was the wall made out of? That's pretty damn amazing. It was a cinder block wall. Just outside was one of the large dumpsters for them all, so he probably had a couple nights of pickaxe work to get through it, since it wasn't an easily visible place. Was crazy stuff. Ha. Huh. Also when you get done alphabetizing the Wii games and notice your hands are covered in mystery sticky stuff from all of the filthy children handling the cases. That was pretty gross. You think that's bad? Try being the it technician at a junior high where every student has a chroma book. I'd go through a giant thing of hand sanitizer every week. 11 to 14 year olds are ducking gross. Many computer repair techs wear latex gloves for this and similar reasons. Hell. I'm grossed out by my own laptop sometimes, just because my hands get very sweaty and leave grime behind on and around the keyboard and palm rest area. 
one time a woman screamed at me because her kid was tearing open a toy before paying for it and I kindly told him to wait a little bit. She seemed on the fence on whether she wanted to buy the toy or not for her kid. So you know I wasn't glad that her kid was already ripping it off she then proceeded to scream at me for being really awful with kids. A horrible person. Bad at my job, etc. Also she wanted to complain to the manager if I ever talked to her kid like that again. She then angrily paid and walked of the store. Also people ting carrying mudding their console and then trying to return it because it doesn't work anymore and angrily insisting on having it bought that way in GameStop. Oh my god the people who broke their consoles trying to mod. I had one woman start throwing shit at me when I refused to take her a turn. She also called 9-1-1 because she believed the police would make me take it back. It did get a cop out there, but he cited her for misuse of emergency services. Worked part time at GameStop while I was in college. The best story I love to tell is a mom and son story. 46ish mom and 7, 10 ish boy come into the store in a large strip mall with lots of stores, don't even look at merchandise, come up to the counter and ask to let the kid use the bathroom. Clarified she's not there to buy anything but has spent thousands of dollars in our store previously. We politely tell her we can't let customers use our bathroom because it's in the back of the store with lots of high priced merchandise. That's the policy. We have cameras and corporate reviews the footage another story I have. Where I was wrongfully terminated substantiates that one. Additionally, what we don't tell her is that all the used game consoles that people sell back to us were stored in the bathroom. There was one month prior to Christmas I had to do some impressive yoga to get to the toilet. I'm sure those consoles were a hazmat. But I digress. But, not to be unsympathetic to this kid's plight, we tell the mom that the pizza place next door lets people use their bathroom if they buy something, and the cheapest thing is a $1 soda slash bottle of water. She starts flipping out on us and spewing expletives. Telling us she's paid our salaries 10 times over, and that we are going to hell, yada yada yada. Th. No joke. Tells her son to just go. Kid actually unzips and pees all over the carpet in front of my register. Then they left. I've never been so grossed out and dumbfounded. Had to close up for the day and half the next day, while GameStop paid to have our carpets sanitized. Resulted in a loss of pay for the weekend. Wonder what happened to that kid. He's gotta be in his 20s by now. TLDR. Mom let her fully potty trained son urinate on the carpet in front of the registers when we didn't allow him to use the employee bathroom in our store when there was a perfectly good bathroom for him to use in the pizza restaurant next door. Note to self, don't buy used systems from GameStop as they may have spent more time in the bathroom than I have. Former employee, two wonderful stories. 1. Older lady brings in a bag. She looks like an addict, and she wants to sell her Wii Eye. I put my hand in the bag and it's soaking wet. Cat piss. She was furious I wouldn't take it. From that day forward, made every customer take all trades out of bags themselves too. My first store was long, and I had a kid and mom in back. Mom wasn't paying attention at all. 8 year old walking around. Gets really really quiet. Then mom rushes the kid out of the store, go back there, and he took a shit on the floor. Watch the tape, mom finds him squatting. Let's him finish Ethan takes him out. Kid shat on the floor in my store too. But we had no cams in the store and they were long gone before we noticed. I was third key at the time, so I had to clean it up being alone. It was not a fun experience. Not an employee, but I was waiting in line to buy a game. And a guy came in with his 8 ish y slash o child I assumed was his son, and pointed the kid to the Nintendo section as he went over to PlayStation. I was daydreaming, off in my own world, and it took me a second to realize a moment later, that I was hearing water splashing. I turned around to see the kid projectile vomiting all over the floor in the Nintendo games. The employee at the counter, the lady in front of me, and I all just watch this child empty his guts onto the floor, before the father comes up to the son. You okay, bud? Yeah. Alright, let's get out of here. And without a word or even looking at anyone else, the two leave the store. Once gone, 
the three of us exchange wild looks, and the employee tells us it's his first day running the store on his own, and he doesn't have any cleaning supplies or know what to do. Poor guy. Parents, please don't let your kids throw up in GameStop. Apparently, when I was about 6 I threw up all over some lady's fur coat in a department store cashier's line. Worked at GS a long time ago, but I'll never forget this one. One night a guy brought in a really dusty and dirty GameCube wanting cash of course. I asked him if it worked, and he said he didn't know, because he hadn't played it in a long time. I told him that we have to check every console, and when I turned it on, and opened the lip about a hundred roaches, came running out all over the counter. Did it work, though? Opening it removed all of the bugs, so it must have worked.